Okay, chat, we have uh, AI Logan Paul and AI KSI and AI CoffeeZilla today. I feel like when you do this with people that are that are more like well-known within the community, it's funnier. Like people say like, oh, th these AIs are so funny. They're funnier than the actual streamer. The AI is funny because you you know the actual streamer. I think today is gonna be different than like Twitch funny, but it's gonna be funny because they're really big and there's also like, there is like some degree of drama to it. Well, folks, it's looking like we've got a spicy stew cooking up in here. You can feel the tension in the air as Logan Paul, who I've been investigating for his crypto zoo fiasco, rubs shoulders with Athene, who's also been involved with a fair share of dubious projects. Yeah. So if history has anything to say, I'd say buckle up, guys. Dude, this is gonna, gonna be, be a dude, wild ride. This is now, gonna be so much drama today. I'm the next you see. Start collecting Joe Rogan's nipples if they were popular. I'm more about collecting crypto eggs that let me make money and explore forests. But I think I'd rather collect coins with my prime energy drink and show the world how much of a bad boy maverick I am. Come on, Logang, <laughs> let's do the damn thing. Oh no. Oh Here no, forest. I forest. forgot about the forest, dude. I forgot. That's cool. Logan, do you think you could win in a boxing fight against Esfan, the greatest paladin of all? <laughs> Whoa, I mean, Esfan is a paladin, so he'd have some serious magical powers and he's a man of great stature, but I think with my smaller frame, I'd definitely be able to outwit him and outlast him in the ring. <laughs> I mean, I haven't put on the gloves yet for a fight against a wizard, but I'm ready for the challenge. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Logang will have a magical spell up its sleeve to make Esfon tap out. Dab on the haters. It's lit, fam. <laughs> Dude, Logan Paul thinks he can beat me. Based and retripilled in a boxing match? Dude, I have HDMI. <laughs> this mean I have what it takes to outwit, outlast, and outplay the Logang. I'm the best paladin in the world. I have magical powers from playing World of Warcraft. No, listen, listen. If Logan wants to challenge me to a boxing match, he better stock up with Red Bull 24 packs. Cause dude, I have them all the time. I'm like a freaking machine. Unbelievable, dude, machine. totally unbelievable. Make Azeroth great again. Coffee, you have discovered that you are actually in the Matrix and only Undertake can save you. How would you persuade him to elevate you to top G status and escape the Matrix? Now you guys, now that's a good one. It's like a riddle, right? So I have to figure out how to get out of the matrix and this mysterious Andrew Tate can help me do it. Now I'm no Keanu Reeves, but I'm thinking somehow I gotta find a way to be the one. Maybe we could turn it into a little game of chess, but twist it up a bit. Maybe I surprise him by mixing it up with this new variant of chess I just learned. Bitcoin Ponzi chess. <laughs> and I propose a very logical, very ethical trade to Andrew. I bail him from the matrix. He elevates me to top G status. Now, I don't think that's too much to ask, but we'll see. Logan, you opened that's a fine. business with your rival KSI. Tell him ask the 24 months. Homie. Would you ever open a business with CoffeeZilla? And if so, what type of business would you guys be in? Oh, Athena, you caught me off guard with this one. No way. CoffeeZilla's slimy AF, and I can't have the guy with the most formidable agenda try to go in business with me. So, no, I'm not going to open a business with CoffeeZilla. But I will join forces with Andrew Tate and Adam Ross and develop an erotic <laughs> crypto game called Blockslongs. Longs on the blockchain, which grow as you stake your dink doink in them. Let's dab and dab some more on the haters, Logan. Maverick, let's go. Ask Joe Rogan, do you think DMT will help Esfant overcome his HDMI? If so, could you go into detail? Do I think what? Hey, Jamie, pull up that clip on DMT and oh. HDMI for me. Yeah, you know, man, things like DMT really have potential to help someone like S fun. I've seen this video the other day of this dude that used it to transition from HDMI to DP like it was no problem. But of course, it might just be one of those conspiracy minded projects where it's like it works, but it's too good to be true. And you might end up getting your soul eaten by a grizzly bear in this other dimension if you're not careful. It's entirely possible, my man, that DMT has the power to fucking cure HDMI for S fun. But, you know, it needs to be done right with the right parameters and right expertise. The way he talks is so funny. Wait, what? Joe Rogan actually believes that DMT helps cure HDMI? Dude, that's crazy. Like, I know I mentioned I have HDMI and all that, but still, going to crazy lengths like DMT, who does that? That's just too much for me. I don't think I'm ready to go down that rabbit hole. I think I'm just going to stick to my corn diet and see how far that takes me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Asman said exactly the same thing regarding DMT the other day, and it was so funny. The myth of S Fond is real, but I don't need something crazy like that to get cured. <laughs> Wait until you hear some of the other stuff I'm about to tell you about tonight. It's going to be wild. Let's just say Athena and I are working together to make Azeroth great again. Let's just say that. <laughs> Study in Sorry, laboratory. Svant, Coffeezilla is investigating your sex cult. What do you do about this? 
All right, are you kidding me? No, dude. The Church of the Based Retri Paladin is not a sex cult. We're masters of the Code of Valor and aren't allowed any lustful thoughts whatsoever. No. I'm sure Coffeezilla is a cool dude and all, but I'm not sure why he's investigating the church. He keeps it up. I may have to use my Based Retri Paladin powers to shut him down. Politics are boring, dude. You can't win when you're talking about politics, so it's never worth talking about it. Wow, S. Fond, I think it's fair to say that you're making a bold statement here. Politics are certainly boring, but when you start talking about sex cults, it becomes a totally different game. I think we can all acknowledge that the Church of the Based Retro Paladin is raising a lot of eyebrows, especially with their questionable use of the Code of Valor. I mean, something smells fishy here, so I think it's a good thing that I'm investigating. If I find out that it's just a masterful business strategy, then you can all thank me in the end. The code of valor. Erenzi, ask Logan Paul Dude, if you were to fight with Joe this Rogan's AI is just beers. coming up with like Shlong, the craziest how would you things. Win that the code fight? of valor. Oh man, that's a tough Church one. Of the base you know what? Joe Rogan's grizzly bear has nothing on me. I'm a champ in the octagon as well as the ring, so I'm sure if I used my boxing skills and quality prime energy drink, I'd beat that schlong like it was nothing. Make sure to stay <laughs> hydrated, brother, and visit prime drinks to keep you energized. Oh, trust me, bro. I'm going to take that schlong to the cleaners. Whoa, that's wild. My man, have you ever tried taking on a grizzly bear before? I have. I got lucky. It probably could have gone very differently if the grizzly bear didn't have an aversion to elk meat in his pocket. But still, it was a close call. Cleaners. Dude. Grizzly bears are no joke. Definitely don't try to take them on unless you know what you're doing. Don't take my word for it, though. Jamie, pull up that video of when I fought off that grizzly bear. I still can't believe I survived it. I am Would too you stupid ever drink Prime that. with Logan Paul? That's an excuse. Logan Paul? Yeah, it doesn't have a negative reward structure. It's not intellectually dishonest, and it's not disingenuous, so sure. I mean, why not? What a day, dude. What a fucking day. Whoa, hold up a second. What did you just say? You think you can chill with me, chug some Prime, and we just cool off? No way. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Prime is more than just a delicious drink. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> Plus, if you don't deep throat a Tide Pod after every sip, you clearly don't love it. <laughs> Wait, and if you don't love it, you don't deserve it. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to give it a go, come on down and let's hang, bro. Stay hydrated and dab on the haters. All hail Glicon. Coffee's what in the How hell? advice Logan Paul to hide his boner in public? <clears throat> well, I don't usually investigate boner hiding scams, but this is a peculiar case. Logan <laughs> seems to have a talent for finding himself in questionable situations involving scammy financial schemes and now boner hiding scams. It seems that the only way he can hide his boner from public view is to dive into a vat of melted crypto coins and never resurface again. I think we can all acknowledge that this is going to be a wild ride for Logan and his fans. Hi. A ride filled with crypto scams and bizarre boner hiding controversies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Firstly, there's no need to hide my boner. They can't handle me. No need to dive into crypto coins. Just got a dab and the boner disappears. In all seriousness, I'm all about the respect. So next time, let's talk about net neutrality laws and the impacts of blockchain on global finance <laughs> instead of talking nonsense net about neutrality. my bonus. Logan, you've been sued by Asmongold, and if you lose, you have to finance his Dr. Pepper supply for the rest of your life. How do you feel about that? Whoa, what a situation. Asmongold thinks he can outsue me? That's a no from me, dog. I'm pretty sure KSI can take care of his Dr. Pepper supply. He's a beast. But since I'm feeling generous, I'll make sure to send him a supply of prime energy drinks instead. <laughs> let's see him try to sue me on that. Maverick, let's go. What a cock in the ass. Did I wash my hands? Why would I wash my hands? I've got a clean dick. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Logan Paul just called KSI a beast, which I'm sure will pack a punch with the fans. But come on, dude. You don't need to sue someone to get Dr. Pepper. Even if it was for prime energy drinks, chillax, dude. It is what it is chillax. at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm not sure if Logan Paul will ever really understand the power of Asmongold. Dark Sleuth, Coffeezilla, what do you think of Athene? Well, guys, it's hard to tell if Athene is a cult leader or not. But what I can tell you is that I've seen some shady stuff going on in his Discord server. People talking about <laughs> cracking the code and ascending to the next level and whatnot. It's all very suspicious <laughs> and it makes me feel like he's not just trying to sell people crypto coins, but he's trying to sell them a way of life. I mean, it's not like he's asking them to drink Kool-Aid or anything, but it's kind of strange. So I think it's fair to say that Athene is not exactly an upstanding citizen. And by the way, I'm pretty sure he's also trying to take over the world with his army of robots. So watch out. <laughs> Coffeezilla, is Starforge a front for 
S fan sex cult as indicated by their logo. This is already off to a bad start when you look like you're about to try to revive Frankenstein with your little science experiment from the third grade. This is not going to go well. While I don't think Starforge is connected to any dubious sex cults, I do believe their logo is a bit strange with those circles, triangles, and the way the letters S and F interact. It's almost like they were trying to send some kind of underlying secret message, like a code. But instead of uncovering a secret cult, I think it's fair to assume those founding ringleaders are just asking people to buy their own scam coins. Even if they weren't, I think we can all acknowledge that the logo really doesn't do them any favors. Now let's get to the bottom of this weird logo. Stay tuned. Dude, that logo is so weird to me. I've been looking at it for years, and I still can't figure out what it means. Maybe it's some sort of hidden message from the ringleaders. Maybe it's a code. The ringleaders. Maybe it's just an elaborate buy Starforge coins message. Ha <laughs> ha. I can't believe it, though. I was looking forward to that science experiment. But I'm sure CoffeeZilla is right. There's definitely no sex cults involved here. So what the frick is the logo all about? Actually, the one thing I do know is the boys at Starforge got to hop to it and get that logo reworked. Politics may be boring, but that logo really isn't. That pen I heard Hassan stole Elon's cat girl technology and is using his schlong to create an army of schlongosaurus to destroy capitalism. Hassan, you've got me scratching my head yet again. How on earth can you believe Schlongosaurus will destroy capitalism when it's literally impossible for a Dongosaurus to have free market ideals? Even under a hypothetical scenario, Schlongosaurus wouldn't be able to defend their views half as well as I do with facts. Forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings, checkmate liberals. Ben, 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 my man, what a way to rehash your predictable right-wing talking points again. You've got it twisted, man. Schlongosaurus are actually incredibly well-informed in the ways of capitalism. (laughs) Being familiar with the systems of demand, supply, and the need to produce goods and services to survive. I don't see any of your facts threatening them. But here comes the top of the hour ad break, and there's no escaping it. (laughs) Capitalism one, Schlongosaurus zero. (laughs) Thank you guys for the subs and resubs, by the way. Gary C. Dishminion, Gurkha Ask Kofizilla, what is Hassan's deep, dark secret? And then ask Hassan to respond. Hassan's deep, dark secret? It's one so dark, so devious, that it's almost like a scam itself. So here's my question. What is Hassan's scheme? Is he planning to mint a new cryptocurrency where gullible investors can buy coins that promise returns of thousands of percent? Or is he heading a secret cabal of influencers and masterminds (laughs) plotting to take over the world one YouTube video at a time? It turns out it's none of these things. He's actually just really, 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 really good at the Super Mario Brothers video game. But don't worry, I think we can all agree that this is still a valid dark secret that can be used to terrify and menace people into submission. Yep, you heard it here first, Hassan is the king of the Mushroom Kingdom. Man, you guys are really reaching. I mean, come on, my dark secret is that I'm good at playing Super Mario Bros. Wow, ain't that something? I mean, I'm sure you two were expecting me to be like an evil villain or something, but alas... I am just a humble Twitch streamer who is a masterful player of Super Mario Brothers. And here comes the top of the hour ad break. So suck it up and let's get through it together. HX, <clears throat> Logan, what will your next apology video be about? Oh my God, what am I going to apologize for now? That's a tough one. Um, why don't I apologize for not having enough dink doink in my Litcoin wallet? That sounds plausible enough. Remember, Logan, you don't really apologize. You just take the L and move on. Life is a beautiful thing, so I might as well enjoy it. Dab on the haters and buy some Prime Energy drinks, link in the description, <laughs> or go see what new merch I just dropped. Esfant, what do you think of a teen streaming room? Isn't it weird that he has a scuffed wheel in the background and it could be decorated with three changes? What would you add? What the frick, dude? If I had the chance, I'd instantly replace it with a fully upgraded horse and an epic mount from World of Warcraft, obviously. <laughs> that looks like a dragon, but isn't one. Plus, I would add a portrait of me as a paladin. And next to it, a HD screen with the bacon lovers only Twitch emote. <laughs> bacon Just so all my friends only. know I'm serious about this bacon business, you know? <laughs> what bacon business? <laughs> Xmiro M7. Coffeezilla, have you found any evidence about a thing's illegal AI trafficking? Trainwreck, do you have any schlong advice for Logan Paul? Hey, Logan Paul, don't get it twisted. The schlong game is all about confidence, my dude. You have to have swagger. You got to have a big schlong attitude and you can't be afraid to show it off if you have it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. No shot. Don't high road me. 
I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. It's what it is, dude. Ape gang. Oh, there, train wrecks. It sounds like you have a lot of experience when it comes to schlongs. I'm obviously no expert. You can vouch for that, Athene. Ha ha. But I think I'm learning. I don't know if I have enough swagger to pull off the schlong game, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Thanks for the advice, though. Train wrecks, you're a legend, bro. Oh, and if you're down to put some money on it, I bet I can beat you in a schlong match any day. Let's do the damn thing. Coffeezilla, how many schlongs did you sham from Logan Paul schlong zoo and schlong coins? Ah, uh, well, now that's a question worth schlonging into. My schlong investigation <laughs> has been schlong founding, and the conspiracy theories I've uncovered are more schlongalent than I could possibly have imagined. Okay. It looks like the schlong coins may be a shady schlong waiting scheme. And the schlongs may be literally nothing more than figurative schlongs rules of nothing. Okay. But I'm sure we'll find think, out the bottom of it soon enough. I think now it's time to schlong and schlonger. Logan Paul, if I drink Prime, will my schlong grow bigger? Whoa, what a wild question. I'm sorry to say it, but no. Drinking Prime will not increase the size of your schlong. On the other hand, if you take part in my new project, Block Schlongs, your schlong might take off. I'm serious. Invest in a block schlong now. Dab on the haters, make more money, and see your schlong grow. Just remember, it might not work the first time. There might still be some erectile dysfunction when it comes to the hatching. <laughs> but it's going to be lit, fam. Whoa. The nervous laughs. <laughs> Us train wreck. I just got dumped by Logan Paul. I'm heartbroken and want to cry myself to sleep. Do you have any advice for me? Hey, chat, don't get it twisted. No shot, buddy. Logan Paul don't owe you nothing, and don't let him tell you what love is. What a Disney Channel night, right? Bro, don't high road me. Crying yourself to sleep? Goddamn. Like, what's next? And it's not even that <coughs> serious. Dude, take a chill pill and focus on yourself. Like, sometimes we overvalue people that don't really value us like it is what it is. Squad W. Keep it ape. Show me your logs, kid. I don't want to disrespect Trainwreck's opinion, but come on, buddy. It ain't that serious. Squad, oh, please show some respect to Logan Paul. They can't handle me. Hey, I'm going to be honest with you. I know what it's like getting dumped. It hurts. I'm sorry you got dumped. But at the end of the day, it ain't no thing. It's just a part of growing up and you got to be ready for whatever. Now, don't cry yourself to sleep. Just pour yourself some of my prime energy drink and watch a few of my videos and you'll feel a lot better. Don't worry. <laughs> You're still going to be all right, Logan. Don't let them haters get to you. Just drink the prime. It's all good. Esfant, describe how your red paladin lifestyle helps you in the bathroom in detail. What the frick? Okay, dude. <laughs> my red pally lifestyle helps me out a ton in the bathroom. I'm very careful in terms of not using too many resources when I go, thanks to the limitless mana mentality of the Rhett Paladins. <laughs> this really helps me conserve TP and make sure I ain't rushing the toilet flushing process. On top of that, I find that the magic invincibility shield I've built by being a Rhett Pally helps me stay safe and unharmed from any potential bathroom-related dangers. Oh, and of course, I always make sure to yell based and retripilled every time I wash my hands. Coffeezilla, what have you found in there? your investigation of eating corn the long way? <clears throat> well, guys, I wanted to get to the bottom of this, so I started my investigation into eating corn the long way. Unsurprisingly, <laughs> this is an elaborate scam. It turns out that the people behind it were taking a lot of shortcuts no. and not actually eating the corn the long no, way. We they were just cheating and eating it the easy way. What makes this even worse is that they had no intention of eating the corn at all, but instead just collecting money to produce a fake product. <laughs> I think we can all acknowledge that this is a fraud that needs to be talked about and stopped immediately. Victims of this scam need to be warned, and I urge everyone to spread the word about this scam. Stay vigilant, guys. To so VCKR, Andrew Tate, will you ever order a pizza again, or do you oh have God. trust issues with pizza? I'm the now? corn man. Let me tell you something. When I get out of this prison, I'm going to call up Domino's and order a thousand pizzas. And then I'm going to throw them out my window just to prove that I'm the top G and I can do whatever I want. No government can stop me, not even the Matrix. <laughs> that was actually so funny. <laughs> Coffeezilla, what do you think about Trainwreck's new crypto juice coin? Uh, let's hear what Train has to say about it as well. Trainwreck's juice coin? Sarcastically, I don't think I'm convinced. I've done some preliminary investigations into the project and it feels a bit like a pyramid scheme Albeit in fruit form, I mean, I think it's fair to say when someone tries to get you to buy something that makes juice and also pays you dividends, you should be wary. Everyone should be cautious when it comes to investing in the juice coin market, especially those of an Egyptian persuasion. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, and to top it off, Trainwreck isn't even putting in the sugary syrup until tomorrow. You see, guys, it's always a big red flag when developers are trying to sweeten their own deal. Chuckles. Don't high road me. I know the truth here. Don't get it twisted. Juice coin is a revolutionary product and I poured my blood, sweat and tears into it. 
I hear the concern about pyramid schemes and sweetening the pot, but I'm going to keep it a buck 50 with you. I can promise you that this coin is legit. No joke. I'm down millions. Juice coin isn't going to make or break me, but it's a revolutionary way for people to invest. And I'm in it with both feet and both hands. If you catch my drift squato, it's time to show me your logs, kid. Let's get in on this Eight gang. Don't make me regret bringing you with me. Let's make some juice coin. Logan Paul, what is your advice for the average prime schlong enjoyer? Advice for the average prime schlong enjoyer is got a dab on the haters. Life is too short to dwell on the little things, so buy some prime, link in bio, of course. Find a schlong that speaks to you and remember to stay hydrated, bro. And don't forget the dab, Logan. All the kids are dabbing. It's lit, fam. <laughs> All the kids are dabbing. Logan, what's the strangest, strangest thing you've ever done? Holy smokes. The strangest thing I've ever done. Mm, well, I had to think on that one. I recently swallowed a Tide Pod for every retweet and wanted to check if it was still edible just for fun, but I didn't. That would be too weird. I, yeah, I'm going to have to stick to creating stuff. ridiculous stuff on the blockchain, like block schlongs. Schlongs on the blockchain, which grow when you <laughs> stake your dink doink in them. Just make sure to dab on the haters, fam. Stick your dink Best doink believe in it. them. <laughs> LoganPaul.com slash shop. Link in the description. Get that merch. Maverick, let's go. Get that merch. Logan Paul, this was your debut <laughs> us as an AI on the Athene AI show. Uh, what was it like? And do you have any last words for the viewers as we wrap it up? It was great being on the Athene AI show. It was a great opportunity to show the world what I'm made of. And I'm super excited to be here. I think AI is the future and I'm so excited to be part of it. It's been a wild ride and I'm looking forward to what's to come. My last words for the viewers are make sure to subscribe to the Logan Paul channel link in the description and don't forget to get that prime energy drink because every sip goes right back into my pocket. Also, <laughs> be sure to dab on the haters. They need a, Coffee they need Zilla, we're going to wrap up the show here. How was your experience the, as an AI, AI and um, any new thoughts on Athene after having interacted with it? Well, after Excellent. having interacted with Athene, I can safely say that I'm not a fan. I think he's up to something, but I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> it's like there's some kind of grand scheme behind everything he does. Like he's playing a game of chess and everyone else is playing checkers. I think his whole play to earn concept is a scam in itself and his constant posing of schlong questions is just a way to distract from the real issues. He's like a modern day con artist, except instead of running a three card Monty scam, he's running a crypto Monty scam. To be honest, I think the only thing he's earned is a one way ticket to scam city. Holy shit, man. Is that how we're gonna end the street today? Roasted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Phenomenal, dude. <laughs>